so sorry for your loss, Jacob. Jacob, you okay? I'm not helping you make a comment called Moon Cool. I mean, come on, man. I thought Negroes in space would be a little too obvious. You tripping. Me? Bro, you've had a lot of good ideas, but this one, uh... <laughs> Wow. You know what? You ain't no fun. Bro, what the hell is this bus? Yo, relax, man. It's coming. Look, man, if it ain't here in two minutes, I'm walking to the Grove. You're not about to walk to no Coconut Grove. Chill. Hey, man, you know you can walk with me, bro. Now you tripping. We can talk about it there and back. You know you tripping. I got work in the morning. Look, man, whatever Esther has to tell me, pretty sure it's not going to take that long. There's no way I'm about to haul my ass all the way to Coconut fucking Grove to watch you suck face. I'm not doing it. All right, man, you take care, brother. I'll be seeing you. to know if you wanted to grab lunch or something. I'm busy. Oh, okay. Well, um, you know, you know, your mama said you haven't been down there since the funeral. So, maybe... Esther, look. I'm really busy. Okay. I'll be seeing you then. Esther, you think it's okay to say that? What was it? What was what? What was so goddamn important that it couldn't wait until the next day or been done over the phone? Or hell, why couldn't you carry your ass over there and go see him at his apartment? What was it? What couldn't have waited? You want to know what I did when I saw you at that coffee shop? What did you do? I asked God to give me a sign. <laughs> you had your nose stuck in that black boy book. And I figured that was it. So I came up to you and I said, excuse me, miss. I see you reading that Richard Wright autobiography. Since you have such amazing taste, I was wondering, maybe you could help me write my own. <laughs> and you knew I was full of shit. I was so full of shit. <laughs> you said, how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> and my response was, well, i definitely like you to be the first chapter. Do you remember that? Yeah, Mo, I remember. Why are you telling me this? I'm just letting you know why you shouldn't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I just need to tell you something in person. It's not bad, so just come over. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I'll be seeing you, baby girl. In about an hour, all right? Okay. I'll be seeing you. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. I'm sorry. <laughs> When we were kids, Mo used to say that we would be the first Negroes in space because a cop can't pull you over on a rocket. <laughs> I feel like such a nerd saying this. What? I used to stay up at night, look at the stars, and I would feel this swell in my chest. And I would just think, wow, I exist in the same universe as all these amazing things, you know? 
And I want to believe that I exist in the same time that he does, that, that he's just somewhere else. But the more I try and bridge that gap, the more I realize he's gone. I don't think he's gone. Someone like Mordecai can't just disappear. He's somewhere else, but he's here too. He's in our memories. He's in me. What do you think he's doing, wherever he is? He's probably laughing at how sad we look right now. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, maybe he's found a blanket and he's gonna float his way down here. <laughs> Mo told you about that. Yeah, how he, he tried to jump out of the, your apartment window yeah. using a blanket as a parachute. <laughs> Poppy's ass so bad for that one. <laughs> I don't know what made him think he would just float down. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Mo was, uh, he was dancing more ways than one. <laughs> I started a new comic. Me and him in space. Have you seen your mom?